Alright guys, what's going on? Day four. Um, I got my axles and stuff back yesterday. And I just slid the rear axle under just for the reason of been sketching a little bit with there being no width to this truck at all whatsoever. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at all the shit that we got back. So, as you can see, we got a lot more shit. So, as you can see, this is all the stuff I had before. This is all the new shit that came in. Uh, we've got to rebuild this front axle here. Just meaning putting the spindles and whatnot back on and all that other jazz. So, yeah, and then my cross member, which is just really huge. And then look at how big this hitch is. It's just fucking ridiculous. So, I'm gonna set you guys up because as you can see here, rear axle's in to a certain extent, but I need to get all the brake lines and whatnot all plumbed. I need to get some airlines plumbed. I need to get the rear sway bar on and attached to those drop links. And um, yeah, just pretty much bang it, try and bang out the rest of this rear shit. I also have to pull the rear drive shaft and the front drive shaft because those have to get sent out to powder coat. So I'm gonna set you guys on the pod and I'm gonna get going. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update here. So as you guys saw when I was last working, I was working on this rear axle here and what I was doing was actually uh, putting on the steel braided lines for the brakes. So right there are my brake lines, these two black lines here. And then as you can see underneath right there, and then they go down right there, and then they're right there. So, let's find a little bit more light in here. So, um, yeah, all the brake lines are done in the rear. That's what I was doing there. Pretty much the rear is all done now. I need to mount one more tank that came in right there, as I think I already said. Um, but yeah, the rear is pretty much done. I had to pull the drive shafts and whatnot because they wanted to get those coated as well, which is more than understandable. Now you're probably wondering what's going on there. And then I just slid this front axle under. So for instance, it's literally just sitting there. I need to get some light under there. But uh, yeah, so I already showed you guys how to um, actually look at, uh, or not look at, but install this stuff here. So yeah, as you can see, all that's done. Now it's just sitting on the axle, and then this is just a supplied bolt that they supply you with, and then this is actually the factory bolt that actually originally bolted on the shock. Then a shock bolt's in here, and then up to the top there, and vice versa. You guys saw that I already had those on, and then there's this little um, brace track bar here that's not tight. It's just pretty much sitting there just to make sure that everything was at the right alignment. Now, here's where things start to get fun. So, you gotta pull this transfer case. I couldn't get a video of it because it's, let's see if I can even get up in here. As you can see, here's the trans. So, you gotta pull this off for the main reason of that. It actually gets a clock uh, spacer, essentially, which is, this guy right here. This is probably one of the hardest and most important pieces of this entire thing. So this actually bolts onto the trans and then these studs actually slip through here and therefore it actually spaces it and clocks it at a different angle. So I gotta get that on. After I get that on, I wanna get these rear calipers on. And the pads are just over there. And um, once I do that, then pretty much like literally at that point, then I can take these um, off brake lines. Cause like that's what I, I'm just stopping the brake line or the brake fluid from leaking out of the brake lines. There we go, holy shit. So yeah, I gotta get that done. And then once, I do get that clock up on there. I'm gonna get uh, 
one of my coworkers to give me a hand just tossing this up and in. Um, and then after that, this big large cross member right here, this big girl, needs to go up. So this goes right there essentially, if you can see that little batter right there. So it goes right along there, and then on the bottom of this, if I can get a, get a shot, I can't. So on the bottom of this, there's actually the mount, and like this was the stock cross member right here. So you take that one out, and as you can see, that has no drop, it's just a flat bar. And then this one, it's got a crazy drop. So, and then once that's on, these trailing arms, right there, go into there, kind of somewhat like that. So, yeah. I'm gonna set you guys down, and I'm just gonna try and start cranking some stuff out. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Here is go back, 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 back. Loud. Loud. All right, guys, so that's going to complete today. As you can see, cross members on. Um, I got the drive shaft up. Let's see if I can get under here. Drive shafts up. Trans or the. Whatever the f you want to call it. That's up. Anyways, the plate's in. Everything's torqued underneath the truck. Um, the front um, cross member is on. The trans mount's on. And the tranny is back resting on this brace. Um, and that's where we're at with the front. So then on Monday, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get all of these drop bars over there on. And then all these calipers as well. Take it easy guys, got any questions just let me know, have a good evening.